what's up guys welcome to my channel and today we are gonna take a look on this new ray 112 scale diecast bike so this bike is indian sports scout so from the front it's like is i guess this is the regular way of packing so from the top you can see the bike from in the bottom there's legal stuff then picture of the bike back there is like this is the price and all so this side again the same picture and yeah so let's take a look on this i mean by taking it out of the packaging so here it is out of the packaging and it's looking great so if you take a closer look so you can see it's well detailed and there is the logo Indian written on that. On back, nice. I guess this could have been a little straight, but it's okay. Then this side, you can see the screws are a bit annoying. So this stand here moves. Well, this helps it stand. And if you are not enough secure about that, so you can use this stand like this, I guess. And this also moves and you can store it, but it's a little loose. So this might be a problem. So from the front, it's looking great. And there, there is a brake. And this side you got the mirror. It's a good looking bike, so I haven't bought any bike before, so this is the first one when I'm buying this because I saw the X-Men Wolverine that was released by Marvel Legends and I was thinking if it would work or not, so now I think it might work, well I have pre-ordered that one, after I get I can get some picture, so it's better than i expected i thought it's gonna be like simply plastic but you can see it's plastic but it got some die cast in it and well it's a good looking bike so from in certain poses it looks like a real bike so i guess for the price i paid it's a great bike and so I really bought three bikes together and this is delivered so I hope the other two will be delivered to my home by the end of this video so I can compare them so let's see if it, it arrives or not for articulation I I mean movability the handle rot rotates like this then the wheel do work and this stand part this stand also work and i guess you can call this a little movement because that it does move and this side this thing also moves it's not too crazy movement but it just moves and i guess that's enough for a bike it's not like any action figure so it's like okay the articulation is okay but it could have got some details like this portion is empty this portion i guess this is looking blonde well it's good so let's compare it with some other stuffs here it is compared to a modern bike it's a ducati something bike i don't know so this bike which i am reviewing is supposed to be a 1934 edition of the bike and here it is compared to well compared to the recent bike and these bikes look good and i bought this for marvel legends and i hope this would work and here it is compared to a dirt bike which is i mean this is a yamaha dirt bike and this look great side by side i can use this for my marvel legends i guess don't know that great about the scales of bikes so here it is like three of this compared so you guys if you know about them you can see the size difference and it's good they have difference in size like 
there are smaller bikes bigger bikes huge bikes and so these do vary from each other in size and that's good i guess but i'm not sure about their accuracy so if you guys know that just comment it down below so let's compare with some marvel legends here it is compared to infinity war thor and as you can see it will not work with bigger marvel legends like this and as you can see thor is like looking huge compared to this bike and here it is with endgame captain america marvel legends one and as you can see it's i mean it's looking like human compared to the bike while thor was looking huge so you can use it with smaller action figures but not with huge ones and it might work and here it is with a custom action figure of well i don't know what is this but i was like the making nomad captain america during infinity war but infinity wars captain america was way worse than this one so let's check if we could make it sit on that bike well it didn't go as expected cause this one's looking like a guy is trying to ride his son's or daughter's tricycle but i guess you can make it work so from the front it looks weird if you make it using some poses i mean use for photography with stands and all it might work because uh i think it can work so well this is the first time i'm buying so i don't know if it will work so let's see if we can make this guy sit on all the other bikes so i guess bikes used to be small in 1934 because this bike isn't looking that bad so if you guys wanna use bikes for your marvel legends you should go for this bike well, I'm using this body because this is a body for Spider-Man Noir which was used in the Ghost Rider. So you can use these bikes for that Ghost Rider. So this is for your help I'm doing. Anyway, this isn't looking that bad. From the front, it's not looking bad. It's really good in scale comparatively. So and it's my advice that bike isn't gonna work so you can use this guy these bikes and here it is the dart the dart bike also works so if you guys want to give your marvel legends some bikes you can use the modern bikes like ducati ktms and those bikes and you can also use these dart bikes so this is also looking good and yes this is looking good so i will provide some pictures at the end of the video so comment down below if it is looking good or not and well if anyone watches this video find it interesting please like it and say if you want to see this bike and this bike and that red one reviewed so bye bye